jumpstart your ocean study with these fun ocean activities. Ocean counting. Get some number cards and encourage children to count the amount that they see on the card with the ocean animals. So what is my name? Get your magnetic letters and an ocean animal and you're gonna put your ocean or sea animal there and then you're gonna to begin to spell your ocean animal's name using magnetic letters. And you can add this to songs, you can add this to a, create a word wall using magnets, but this is just a fun way to incorporate literacy. Search and find game where you can get numbers with your ocean theme tweezers and ocean theme um, card map and encourage children to try to find the numbers that they see using the tweezers, matching numbers. Another cool thing about this search and find is it also has counting so they can count and then find the numbers. So this is just a really good gem. So where is the ocean? Grab a map. Our puzzle came with a map and encourage children to find the ocean as they interlock the puzzle pieces. Let's travel, time to travel underwater. So if you have like a little suitcase or we just used our little passport suitcase, you can put inside the suitcase swimwear, goggles, if you have a scuba, scuba diving outfit, um, also things that they would see underwater. So this is um, a sea animal puzzle. So we'll see animal puzzles of different creatures they would see underwater. This is also a good time to put in that suitcase real, uh, real images. So I have this non-fiction book, uh, Dolphins. Um, you could also put other uh, cards, animal cards with animal facts. You could read to them the different things that they would see underwater. And you can include uh, sea animal stickers. Maybe they can stick or make an ocean um, an ocean story. And you might also want to put like a beach towel and other things that children could explore once they come out of the water to relax by the ocean shore. Another activity is fishing. Magnetic fishing. Encouraging children to fish for all the different fish inside of the sensory tub. And another way to help young children with their fine motor skills is you can use another way of fishing by placing the ball inside of this and children can practice lifting. Another cool idea is they can, another, they can pretend they're on the seashore or digging at the bottom of the sea and you can put letters on there to put letters on there. They can try to spell their name or do letter sounds or just kind of see what they can find on the seashore or at the bottom of the ocean. You can also do um, ocean sensory bottles with like water and oil and talk about how the oil is floating on top or you can make ocean waves. Just kind of let them explore. Add ocean books like Under the Waves, The Rainbow Fish, Dolphins, Sea Sand Me, Swimmy. These are all great books and I'll make sure I link them all below. This is also a good time to whip out the Pray and Play Bible and read about Jonah and how he was thrown into the sea and then the fish. And it's just a great time to make a Bible connection with songs and lots of activities. Also, another great book is Commotion in the Ocean. One of the easiest art activities is get some scissors, glue, and some ocean magazine clippings um, and encourage children to cut out things that they may see in the ocean or at the beach and paste it to their paper. And another really easy activity is always having handy either a clipboard for children to draw their ideas of what they're learning about as they're learning about the ocean animals or keeping a journal where children can draw and you can either write their words or they can write their words. Maybe they're creating ocean stories or maybe you go on a field trip to the aquarium or to uh, the ocean and actually see uh, these wonderful ocean creatures. So let me know right now in the chat below 
what activity are you going to start your ocean study with? Is it going to be the books, getting out the right books? Or is it going to be some of those sensory activities or those counting activities or literacy? Let me know right now in the chat below. Also, if you haven't heard, we had a giveaway of commotion in the ocean. And um, kindergarten teacher, Miss Jones, who actually has an ocean-themed class as her name, as their class name, won this wonderful book. So I want to give a special congrats to her. And if you enjoy resources, tools, tips, anything for young children, go ahead and sign up to the Brown Bear Book Club below. And if you enjoy content just like this, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys again another time. Bye guys.